The Secret Life of Clownfish A clownfish swimming among anemone tentacles. All clownfish are born male, but did you know? The strongest among them transforms into a female and becomes the queen of the group. The largest clownfish slightly changes color, indicating transformation. Once she becomes queen, her first task is to choose a mate, the second strongest male. And here's the twist. This chosen male also undergoes a transformation, but not into a queen, instead, he becomes her king. The clownfish pair swimming together around the anemone. Together, they reproduce and maintain the population, until one day, the queen dies. Then what happens to her mate? He goes through one final transformation, becoming the new queen. The cycle repeats, with young clownfish growing. But the queen's role isn't just about reproduction. She also controls the population size, ensuring a perfect balance in their symbiotic relationship with the anemone. Clownfish swimming safely among anemone tentacles. These tentacles are toxic to most fish, but not to clownfish. Their secret, a special mucus layer on their skin that makes them immune. A clownfish gently touching the anemone's tentacles without harm. In fact, clownfish can train their anemones. Over time, the anemone learns to recognize and accept them, allowing the clownfish to live worry-free. A small clownfish playing around the anemone as the cycle continues. An incredible symbiosis, in an underwater world full of surprises.